Will Poulter started his career at a very young age and found success almost immediately. These are some of the steps he's taken on the way to stardom. Before Will Poulter came onto the scene, he was a struggling student at the Harridan School in Barnes, London. It was while attending this school, which also played home to alumni like Robert Pattinson and Jack Whitehall, that Poulter found his passion for acting. At just 11 years old, he and some of his fellow students worked on a sketch comedy show called School of Comedy, performing above pubs and at the Edinburgh Fringe before Channel 4 turned it into a hit television show. Despite his success on stage, however, the young actor was having a tough time academically. Since he became famous, Poulter has been dispelling myths around dyslexia through his own experience with the learning disorder, as well as dyspraxia, a coordination disorder. Speaking with The Independent in 2013, Poulter explained how these conditions affected him, saying, "...it felt like it didn't matter how hard I tried. I wasn't getting anywhere. That's the most demoralizing thing as a kid." He went on to reflect that discovering his love for acting played a huge part in developing his self-worth, noting that his father worked in academia and that he had a strong desire to live up to his expectations. Thankfully, he found his calling young and began excelling in it quickly. Although Will Poulter had been involved in drama classes at school as well as an after-school comedy club, it wasn't until he landed his first on-screen role at the age of 13 that he realized acting was something he wanted to make his career. Poulter was cast as Lee Carter in the 2007 coming-of-age film Son of Rambo, which centers around two young boys in the early 1980s as they make their own film inspired by First Blood. If you don't tell me where they are hiding, then I have no choice but to shoot you and your cat." In an interview with The Guardian, Poulter explained that because he had been so unhappy in school, the role gave him a lot to look forward to. He recalled how he would come home from shoots ecstatic, already confident that acting was his life's mission. What's more, as he continued to struggle in school, Poulter's parents began to support his budding passion more and more. Poulter and his co-star, Bill Milner, were both nominated for their performances by the London Critics Circle Film Awards for Young British Performer of the Year. They also received nods from the British Independent Film Awards, with each of them nominated for Most Promising Newcomer. This recognition gave Poulter his first taste of the esteem that was to come. Speaking with The Independent in 2013, Poulter explained that he didn't want his acting career to get in the way of other life plans. He expressed how he wanted to further his education and that he planned to travel and spend some time with his loved ones. Poulter did enroll at Bristol University in 2012 to pursue a degree in drama. However, he withdrew the following year. This decision evidently paid off, for in 2014, he won an EE e. Rising Star BAFTA, beating out other incredible nominees like Dane DeHaan and Lupita Nyong'o. Seemingly shocked and humbled, he accepted the award, getting emotional when thanking his friends and family. Even after the initial thrill of the win wore off, Poulter still seemed perplexed that he received the honor. When you're in a category, you know, that, um, that prestigious, you know, in terms of the talent that's involved, you just, you, you feel guilty almost, you know, all of those guys could have won it. Mental health has been a talking point for Poulter for many years, and he's often discussed his own personal struggles. Back in January 2019, he published a candid tweet saying that he was taking a step back from sharing so much of himself on social media. He expressed that he had been having a hard time balancing his personal life with his digital footprint, and that becoming less active online was the best choice for his own wellness. However, he also clarified that he would continue posting promotional content of the anti-bullying organization with which he'd been working for several years. Poulter also got very open in an interview with Hunger magazine, explaining that his dealings with mental health issues stem back to his childhood. He reflected that, from a young age, he's dealt with depression, anxiety, and obsessive-compulsive disorder, and theorized that those issues may have played a part in his academic struggles. He explained, "...therapy has helped me realize that I was never really being myself at school. I was chameleoning, simultaneously civil with everyone but friends with no one." He went on to say that his experiences have fueled his initiative when working with mental health charities because he can better empathize now with children who are going through something similar. Not only has Poulter strived to normalize discussions around mental health, he was also appointed as ambassador of Hammersmith, Fulham, Ealing, and Hounslow Mind, a nonprofit organization focused on mental health. In July 2023, students of Chiswick School hosted Mind Ambassador Temi Tyrese, who gave a lecture on how to keep mentally well. Little did they know that Marvel's own Poulter was waiting to surprise them, and he too spoke to the students about mental wellness. Aside from his time spent working with Mind, the actor is also passionate about other important initiatives, including Alzheimer's research. In May 2023, Poulter read the children's book Elmer and the Gift, a story that demonstrates themes of understanding and patience when communicating with a family member with dementia during Dementia Action Week in support of Alzheimer's Research UK. 
After the reading, Poulter expressed his empathy for the many dementia patients out there and acknowledged how difficult it can be for them and their loved ones to go about life with a diagnosis. He also expressed how important it is to have conversations about issues like this with children, a sentiment he seems to echo with much of his philanthropic work. I think where you know you can improve the knowledge around any kind of particular issue, you also stand a chance of improving empathy. Florence Pugh wowed audiences with her performance in director Ari Aster's 2019 horror film Midsummer, in which Poulter played her character's obnoxious antagonist. In the movie, they conveyed a believable disdain for one another, but off-screen, they seemed to get along well. So well that when Pugh posted photos of the two of them in Ibiza on a group trip in May 2022, rumors swirled that the two were dating. The actress took to her Instagram story to set the record straight, saying that she and her former co-star are just friends and that they have never gotten intimate. Pugh's dating history has mostly been kept under wraps by the actress, aside from her public relationship with Zach Braff. However, one thing's for sure, Poulter is definitely not a part of it. In fact, he somewhat confirmed his relationship status in August 2022 when he was spotted kissing model Bobby T in West Hollywood. Little else is known about their relationship, but they were all smiles and seemed to be truly happy spending time together, according to E! News. The roles an actor decides to play can say a lot about who they are, their interests, and what kind of career they want to have. When it comes to Will Poulter, his work has ranged from goofy comedies to dystopian action flicks to dramas rife with societal commentary. Speaking with The Guardian, he confirmed that he does feel a sort of personal responsibility to utilize his privilege as a straight white male to use his work to contribute positively to social movements like Black Lives Matter or Me Too. Poulter reiterated how important having a social conscience as an actor is to him while speaking with Numero in April 2023. He explained, I feel there's a real opportunity with the job that I'm in and with the people that I work with in the role of storytelling to reflect on society and hopefully impact people's perspective and, in a positive way, motivate progressive action. However, he also explained that, while he wants to remain socially active, he doesn't want to be branded as an activist either. Instead, Poulter feels that title should be reserved to those who dedicate their lives to social change full-time, rather than someone like him who uses another livelihood as a platform to push movements forward. Often branded as the actor with the eyebrows, Poulter's distinguishing facial feature is clear, and lots of people have commented on them. I don't know. I didn't sort of like walk into a barber's and go, Tintin haircut, eyebrows of Satan. It seems to be a topic of discussion the actor is getting a little tired of taking part in. As he said in his 2021 interview with The Guardian, it's funny when people comment on my eyebrows, it's as if they don't realize that's something I'm used to. They're on my face, and they are directly above my eyes, so I've seen them. While Poulter may be fed up with the public's observations about them, he explained to the publication that they've actually proven a major asset to his acting career. He even went so far as to claim that he thinks his face would be less emotive if he altered them. Speaking with IndieWire, Poulter explained that he's no stranger to the fact that he has a pretty distinct look and that he's perfectly happy not being branded conventionally attractive. In fact, he went on to say that, while being a film actor essentially guarantees that the public will pick your appearance apart online, he thinks people would generally benefit from fixating on looks less in the media. Will Poulter has had more than a few big breaks throughout his film career, one of the more recent of which was his role in Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3. To get ready for this part, Poulter underwent a serious physical transformation, and he had to make some sacrifices in his personal life to get into shape for the role. Speaking to The Independent, he explained that he developed a pretty intense routine while prepping for the film and that he had to skip out on a lot of social engagements to reach his personal goals. However, Poulter's commitment to his craft paid off, and he got to introduce a new character to the Marvel Cinematic Universe as a result. As time has gone by, the actor has climbed the ranks quickly and worked with some of the biggest names in the industry. He's now also won five awards and received 23 nominations in his career, including an Emmy nod. Having accomplished all of this with less than two decades of acting under his belt, it's clear that Poulter's hard work is paying off, and we can't wait to see what he does next.